<laughs> so we've had a really fun couple of days so far. We came out yesterday, it was a beautiful sunny day with a little bit of wind, great conditions for fishing. We pulled off a few really nice fish and then we went back and made some awesome trout recipes. Now, today might not look as nice. You know, it's a little bit cloudy, it's a little bit windier, but in fact, the conditions today are even better for fishing on the lake. As you saw yesterday, we had a lot of fish that came and looked at the fly, but didn't necessarily want to commit. With a bit of lower light levels and some chop on the water, those fish turned from window shoppers into hunters. So today we're gonna to go back out, see if we can't get a few more fish, have a bit of fun, try a few new different techniques and show you a couple of the differences that conditions can make, especially when you're lake fishing. Now I've just lost another fish, which I don't get demoralized about. It means there are fish around and that they're eating. And it just so happened to coincide with a little bit of wind coming into this bay, a little bit of chop that can just make a fish a little bit more active and happy to feed on the surface. And he absolutely smoked that. He just missed it basically, which is great. Because if they're being that aggressive, it means hopefully they'll turn on. This time of the year, you can often fish gentlemen's hours. I mean, we didn't get out on the water until about 9.30. And it's about 11 now and the fish have really just started to wake up. So it's great if you want to sleep in. It's also quite nice when it's a beautiful spring day like this. Now let's see if I can't actually catch a fish today. You think I'd be able to? It is my job. Oh. <laughs> Let himself go. I mean, that's the best possible outcome with those little guys. And it's great to see. He actually ate that on a very aggressive retrieve. So I know the retrieve I'm doing now is going to get results. We came in here yesterday along this old fallen tree and I actually got whacked by a really nice big brown. Now I'm fully expecting him to be back here today. What a lot of people don't tend to think about is that fish actually get territorial in lakes, especially big brown trout. Now we all know they get territorial in rivers and will sit by the same spot again and again. They do the exact same thing in lakes, especially around big structure points like trees, big cracks in rocks that also lead from deep water into shallow water, which is exactly what this tree does. It's at the start of this shallow bay and it goes from quite deep to quite shallow. It's a great little ambush point for him to grab anything that's working from the deep water into the shallow water or vice versa. Now we had a bit of a tough time at our first spot. Our initial plan looked pretty good. We had good wind, good cover. We knew the fish were there because we saw them yesterday, but it didn't really pan out. We saw a couple of fish, but it wasn't red hot. Now, if you're not adapting, you're not fishing. We've come over to the other side of the dam where we've got much better wind. There's also on this bay through here, there's a lot of good structure, a lot of trees and that sort of thing, which tends to hold fish no matter what. So we're gonna go see if a change of the side of the lake is gonna help now that we've got that wind pushing into this bay, as well as this structure. Yep, little torpedo. <laughs> he hit it like he was trying much harder. Trick shot. Now we've just moved into this really nice snaggy bay that's got awesome wind blowing into it. Does present a few difficulties in casting, hence I just hit that tree. But if I do hit a fish in here, what I wanna do is go really hard on it. Try and keep its head up above the surface. Don't let it get down in amongst the snags. Keep it jumping. You might lose it in the air, but you're almost definitely gonna lose it around a tree. Now I'll go get this fly out of this tree and we'll get back to it. a proper one. Look at this thing. He's got his head down at the moment. That's a proper fish. Oh yeah, that's a hard time to lift this one. That's a good fish. 
Oh. <laughs> Beautiful brown. Slide on in. Oh. <laughs> in the net. There we go. Fantastic. That is oh, a cracker. That's what we're looking for. That is a fat brownie. He is in fantastic condition. Solid as. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> well, there you go. A few days fishing up here in the high country in the lakes, which are just going to keep getting better and better this season with all the snow melt and rain that we've been getting. And we had a really cool day on the first day. We had nice sun, a little bit of breeze. We got some nice fish and we had a few come and really look at the fly. We made some nice recipes and then we came out today with a bit of cloud and we actually did a little better on numbers of fish. Not as many big ones, but we did get one cracker, which was awesome fun. Now we're going to head home. I'm going to boost down here. We've got to get back to Chima. we to get this cameraman back to a shot. <laughs> Never break the third wall! <laughs>